Hey everybody, John Valero here, and I'm talking about the ASICS Gel Venture 9 compared to the ASICS Gel Venture 9 waterproof. I have both shoes on right now. Now, importantly, I paid for both these shoes with my own money. This video is not sponsored by ASICS or anybody else, and these are my true, honest opinions. Now, I love these. These are my everyday shoes, the ASICS Gel Venture 9. I just got these ASICS Gel Venture 9 waterproof. I love the look of both of them. This feels really, really grippy. I love the sole of this. This is awesome. This feels a lot heavier. The, the sole of this is really great too. Um, they're both really awesome. I mean, I've, I've been with ASICS Gel Venture series for a while now, and the Gel Venture 9, in my opinion, is the best version of it. It's really good. It's light, it's, it's strong, it's, it's really, it's got great cushioning. It's the best that I've seen out there. I was very curious here because I've never had a waterproof shoe, so I had to get it when they came out with the ASICS Gel Venture 9 waterproof. And now, I mean, this is the first time I've had them both on at the same time. I'm gonna do a walking test right here in concrete, and then we're gonna go over here on the AstroTurf surface, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts as I'm going. Okay, I can just tell you walking that the Gel Venture 9 waterproof, these ones are definitely heavier than these ones. The regular A6 Gel Venture 9 definitely feel lighter, but the 9 waterproof feels more solid. Like if I were to move around like this, I've got a little more lateral play here than I do over here, which again, it depends on what you want, right? There's some times where I want a very solid shoe like this, particularly when I'm lifting or if I'm doing, you know, moving or I'm doing certain sports and stuff like this, or if I'm running or if I'm on a trail, then I'm gonna want this. Now, in terms of like, let me just face right, before I walk some more, let me just face right here on the heat and just kind of feel it. And I can just tell you that this is a little warmer to me than this. It's not super significant yet, um, I don't think either of them really bother me, but if I'm out in the, I can feel a little bit, like if I'm out in the heat for a while, this is gonna be more comfortable, the regular A6 Gel Venture 9. Um, but I think that's a small factor for me. That's nothing that's really, really bothered me so much. Uh, but I wanted to pass that on to the viewers because I'm, there's, I, I can notice it a little bit, right? So let me walk on this surface here. So, again, sort of similar themes. Like I'm feeling like the A6 Gel Venture 9 waterproof is this, you know, it feels like more of a shoes on me, whereas the A6 Gel Venture 9, it feels a little bit more natural, a little more form fitting. I'm gonna do, again, a little maybe run test here. <laughs> Let me get to this, this angle here. Again, with the caveat, <laughs> not a runner, definitely not in shape, but I'm not gonna run anywhere near full speed. So I'm sure it's gonna look pretty bad, but we're gonna try it anyway. All right, here we go. Let's just feel this. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So if you are running every day as an everyday shoe, I like the A6 Gel Venture 9 better. It's just going to be you know, more versatile if you're in the trail running. On the times where you need the waterproof, waterproof's great. Oh, let me put it a different way. <clears throat> They're sort of built for different purposes, similar purposes, but with different aspects to them. Meaning like, if I'm out there running all the time and I'm using a trail running shoe to, well, that's where it gets interesting actually. <laughs> let, me cap, let me put that to the side. If you are road running in dry conditions or you're just walking every day and you're not really putting that much strain or stress on the shoe, it's just like an everyday walking shoe or an everyday running shoe in dry conditions, I, I would use the A6 Gel Venture 9 or just kind of kicking around the, A6, the regular A6 Gel Venture 9. If you're going on a trail where there might be mud, if there, if there could be puddles, if there's snow, if there's any, any kind of inclement weather or it might rain or something like that, A6 Gel Venture 9 waterproof. If you're working out, particularly a leg day, you want that kind of cross chain, a little more stability when you're doing weights, A6 Gel Venture 9 waterproof is what I would use. So it just depends on what you're doing. Both are great. They're both you know, very similar, obviously, but a little bit of a different tune to it. So it's, it's, it's kind of nice, right? And so this is almost like, you know, this is maybe more muscle car. Maybe this is a little bit more slight, more finesse. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but I like them both a lot. 
Okay, in conclusion, I really like both these shoes a lot. I like the A6 Gel Venture 9 waterproof a lot more than I thought it would. I'm happy that I have both because I've had times where I was working or I was out there and the rain caught me, I hit a puddle and it just, it just kind of like, you know, it's not so fun. It, I wouldn't say it tweaks your day, but it's definitely not fun to have like, now you're working or you're out there, you're, you know, you don't have a change of socks, you got a wet shoe, it's not fun, right? So having these, I was gonna, as soon as they came out with it, I was gonna buy them. So I'm glad that I have them. But what I'm pleasantly surprised with, because of the dynamics and the strength of the shoe, I'm definitely gonna use these a lot more going to the gym. Like I don't always have to reach my cross chain if I'm doing legs, or, or if I might, maybe I'm gonna do upper body and lower body, or I don't know, or maybe I wanna do something. I can grab these and I know that I'm covered for almost anything, except for maybe like heavy squats. But I mean, if I'm doing leg press, if I'm doing whatever, I'm gonna use these. So this is definitely a very versatile shoe. Having them in my car, having them in my gym bag, and just having them with me, because I know now that, yeah, this is gonna give me a lot of options. The waterproof test was phenomenal, awesome, great job on that. That's exactly what it's designed to do. And I think it might last a little bit longer as well. But for the everyday shoe, a shoe I'm gonna use every single day, that's comfortable, that's fun, that's fashionable, that's, that's lighter, if I wanna run, if I wanna just out and walk and whatever, and I do a lot of walking, a6 Gel Venture 9 regular is the one I'm gonna use. So I'm saying I, I don't, I guess it's like versus, they're two different things, but if I had to choose one over the other, it would be the A6 Gel Venture 9. But I'm absolutely super pleased that I can choose both, and I have both, and I'm glad that I have both. So I would say both of these shoes, for what they do, I'm giving them a nine and a half out of 10. They're both awesome. Asics, you've done a great, great job. Super happy with these shoes. Hey, if you like this video and this video helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Also, please subscribe and share it on your social media sites out there. Don't forget to turn on the notification buttons for subscriptions. If you'd like to order these shoes or learn more about them, I'll have a link in the video description below on YouTube. Please read all the important disclaimers there. If you do order through that link, I will personally benefit from it. I wanna be upfront about that, and I definitely appreciate your support. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm John D. Villarreal. I'll see you next time.